we're going to be looking at kinematics, which describes motion. Scalar quantities have magnitude only, whereas vector quantities have both magnitude and direction. So examples of scalar quantities would be time, distance travelled and speed. Whereas examples of vector quantities would be displacement, velocity and acceleration. So for example, you could have a speed of 3 metres per second where you have no direction. But you could have a velocity of 3 metres per second in a northerly direction. So it's got magnitude, 3 metres per second, and it's got direction because it's moving in a northerly direction. So here, this diagram is showing you the total distance travelled by an object which is the blue line. But this is not the same as the displacement. The displacement represents the resultant distance travelled in a given direction. And it's found from the shortest distance from the start to the end point. So the red line is representing the displacement. And it's a vector quantity, so it has direction. The speed of an object is found by the distance travelled divided by the time taken. And this equation is the definition for speed. So if we look in our example, the distance travelled was 6 metres and it took 10 seconds. So the speed will be the 6 metres divided by the 10 seconds. So it will equal to 0 0.60 metres per second. However, velocity, which is a vector quantity, has direction. So it's speed in a given direction. And how we obtain average velocity is equal to the change in displacement divided by the time taken. And this equation is used to define average velocity. So in our example, the displacement is 2 metres and the time taken is 10 seconds. So the velocity will equal... 2 metres divided by 10 seconds, which equals 0 0.20 metres per second. So velocity is defined as the rate of change of displacement. A rate means dividing by time or per unit time. So we can also say velocity is the change of displacement per unit time or it's the change in displacement divided by time taken and we can express it as an equation like this where v is the velocity this sign is delta representing a change s is the symbol for displacement not speed. So this is the change in displacement divided by delta t, the change in time or the time taken. Acceleration is defined as the rate of change of velocity. So again, rate means dividing by time or per unit time. So you can also define acceleration as the change of velocity per unit time or change in velocity divided by time taken. And the change in velocity means 
we take our final velocity minus the initial velocity. And so mathematically, we can represent acceleration A is equal to delta V, the change in velocity, divided by delta T, the change in time or the time taken. And if we have an acceleration of 2 meters per second squared, that means we've got a change in velocity of 2 meters per second each second. Because acceleration is a vector quantity, you can have positive acceleration and negative acceleration. So positive acceleration is when the acceleration is in the same direction as the motion, as the velocity. And in this case, the velocity will increase in value. So the final velocity will be greater than the initial velocity. However, for a negative acceleration, so the acceleration is in the opposite direction as the motion or as the velocity, then in this case, the velocity value will decrease. So the final velocity will be less than the initial velocity. So we get a deceleration. So a deceleration is a negative acceleration. So the negative implies the acceleration is in the opposite direction to the velocity.